Hey, what's up, guys? Brennan Lee here, uh, Toys R. Um, really excited today. I uh, picked this guy up at a uh, thrift store down the road from my house. I didn't think that they would have this guy. I walked in and I was like, oh shit. Um, didn't have Kingpin before. Um, very excited to have him now. I was going to get the uh, the two-pack with the Daredevil. This guy came in, but um, now I just have to find the Daredevil. He's a little dirty. Um, you can tell. I have to clean him up pretty good. I just got home with him. Thought I'd throw this on there. Picked this guy up for uh, 50 cents. So, I mean, all the articulation is there. He's real stiff. You can tell he hasn't been played with very much. Um, but all his articulation is there. Um, I'll show that to you in a minute. Um, so yeah, um, there's the peg hole for the, uh, the, uh, display stand. Yeah, I was, like I said, I was really excited to get this. I mean, I've been wanting a kingpin for a while for my Spider-Mans, and, uh, I don't have any Daredevils yet, but this is perfect for the, uh, the, the, uh, six inch big time, because even in the cartoon, the old cartoon, the old uh, Spider-Man cartoons I used to watch back in the day, um, with uh, Fisk and all that. Um, Spider-Man was always smaller than the Kingpin, and it looks, I mean, right in scale with the cartoon. It's very odd, um, but it, I'm, yeah, like I said, man, I'm really excited to have this guy. Um, let's get into uh, some articulation shall we alright so for those who do not have this figure um, the articulation is uh, his head does not go all the way around I mean you could probably force it but his head's gonna pop off for sure um, he doesn't look up very much he doesn't look down very much this all this shit right here is in the way from really moving his head but I mean, he's a big fat shit anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, he's uh, got ball jointed shoulders, which are very hard to uh, articulate. Like I said, he hasn't been played with much, so I'm not going to force it. But um, He has the pivot here in the bicep. He has single jointed elbows. He has rotation in... Oh, he doesn't have any rotation in the wrist at all. Huh. Go figure. Really? No rotation in the wrist? Well that just kicks my shit off. Anyway, he's got a rotation, no rotation, but it's a uh, swivel right here in the wrist and then he's got finger articulation which they're all together right here and he got his ring right there. I'm actually thinking about uh, washing this guy up and doing a repaint on him um, just to get his color back and do some wash in these pants right here. But, uh, anyway, um, same side, same as this side over here. He's got this articulation in his fingers, which they're all together anyway. And then he's got a back and forth on that wrist. He's got ball jointed shoulders on this side, bicep swivel, single jointed in the elbow. Um, his legs are on a ball joint. They go up about that far, which isn't very far. <laughs> they go out that far. He's got double jointed knees, which, like I said, he's a fat shit and his pants get in the way anyway. But, um, same on this side. And then he's got an ankle swivel and an ankle pivot. It's very, very light on the ankle pivot, but it's there. And then it goes up and down, and then he's got the, uh, toe art articulation as well. Um, his head sculpt is uh, actually not too bad. I mean it's... If I get a better look at this right here. Sorry. Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> um, his head sculpt is really not too bad at all. Get that in there a little bit. Um, it really reminds me of the cartoon a lot. 
pretty good sculpt in the hands, not too shabby. I like the way his jacket's made. There's the undershirt. There's his ring again. Again, I have some natural light in here. It makes it a lot better here pretty soon. Just need to cut another window out in my uh, my unit out here that I'm doing this in. So I built myself a shed in my backyard, and I'm starting. This is where I'm gonna be doing my reviews at. So Here's his pants, his feet. So yeah, I'm uh, like I said, I'm really excited about getting this figure. Um. Also, another figure. I finally picked up Ghost Rider. Um, been looking for this figure for a long time and finally found him at Target. Um, I'll be doing a review on him here pretty soon as well as the other ones that I've showed you guys. Um, look at that freaking yeah, the evil as shit, isn't he? Love it. I'm a real big Ghost Rider fan. Not like Nicolas Cage Ghost Rider, but like comic book Ghost Rider. Nicolas Cage is alright. He just, he overacts way too much. And the badass artwork on the back. Like I said, I'll be reviewing this guy pretty soon. Um, I did pay $14.99 for him, but it was well worth it because I've been looking for him forever and the only place I could find him was online and I wasn't buying it for that price online. So, finally found him. I'll be completing my Terax this weekend, hopefully. And, uh, so yeah, that's about it. So, this has been another session with uh, Brandon Lee from the Toys R, and uh, have a nice day. Oh, this shit fell down. Come on, you fat fuck.